right, I'm going to show you how to uncap honey today with a hot uncapping knife. Um, this has gotten a little bit scorched. I've already cleaned it several times. You just have to be sure you don't set your temperature up too high or else it will scorch. Um, some people say that it can uh, make some of the honey taste caramelized, but um, I think it would be okay today and I'm not going to clean it. Um, but you should keep that clean and not set the temperature up on high so it doesn't scorch. Um, you are going to pick frames to use your uncapping knife with. You want to pick a frame like this so it's like mostly capped. Um, you can still use your uncapping knife on other frames if it's just like a cap right here. It's just um, better if you have a whole frame that's capped. So we're going to set it up on here. Um, if you have an uncapping tank, it makes it easier. If you don't, you can make your own, just as long as you have something here where you can set the uh, frame up on one. It just makes it easier to have something resting on it. So you want to make sure your knife is hot in the hot. And so you want to start down here at the bottom and use your uh, frames, the top the bottom bar, as your guide. And you want to use sweeping, sawing, motions and sometimes it's hard if it's not perfectly drawn out sometimes it's wavy and so you'll have to go back with your um, capping scratcher and get the parts that it didn't catch and you want to pluck up be sure you pluck up don't scrape or like this because you won't get the cappings off and you want to get as many cappings off as you can so that doesn't go through the extractor you just pluck up and I like to get all the cappings that I possibly can because if you do not uncap it will not come out in the extractor and so I'll do this frame and then I'll show you some other frames maybe well, maybe the back side of this might be a good example and that's the other thing don't forget you got a back side sometimes people forget that okay this is a good example um, see this isn't capped but um, it's still, you can still extract it. The way you can tell whether it's nectar or honey is if you give it a bounce and if it comes out, it's nectar. If it stays in the cell, then it's honey. You can still extract nectar, but the moisture content is going to be higher. So you will either have to blend it with another honey or set it in a room with a dehumidifier or a cheese cloth over it. You can sit in your car on a hot day with cheese cloth over it. Just uh, something like that to bring the moisture content down, but you can still extract nectar. Just it's harder to deal with. And then we're going to put um, this frame. Go ahead and stick this in the extractor over here. And I won't go through every frame, but it depends on what type of extractor you have. Um, if you have a larger extractor, um, you want to balance your frames out as best as possible because if you don't then it will act like a um, washing machine that's off kilter and it will start rocking you'll know right away if you don't have it balanced right and that's about all there is and of course you want to use your double sieve strainer and then uh, we also like to use a strain bag as well and then I will make another video on testing for the moisture and that's it for now